City University of Hong Kong is an international university which emphasizes the integration of research and teaching. The university promotes diversified, cross-cultural studies through various educational programs. To promote our educational vision, City University of Hong Kong produced a series called Beyond Boundaries, Dialogue with Presidents of World's Leading Educational Institutions. Professor Wei Guo, President of City University of Hong Kong, talks to presidents of universities and principals of high schools around the world, exploring each other's strengths and looking forward to the future direction of educational development. University of Leuven in Belgium is the oldest extant Catholic university and also the most innovative university in Europe. Over the past 600 years, its development has been intertwined with the vicissitudes of religion and politics in Europe, forming a unique historical trajectory. In 1425, Pope Martin V issued a papal bull to establish the University of Louvain in the city of Leuven. It initially comprised five faculties, humanities, canon law, civil law, medicine, and theology. In the 16th century, the university attracted renowned European scholars to teach there including humanist Erasmus, the father of modern anatomy Vesalius, and cartographer Mercator. In 1968, the university was split into two independent sister universities, French-speaking Université Catholique de Louvain and Dutch-speaking Catholique Universiteit Leuven. The Dutch-speaking university stayed located in the city of Leuven, while the French-speaking university built a new campus in the university town of Leuven-la-Neuve. Today's program introduces the Dutch-speaking KU Leuven. Among its alumni and faculty, three have won the Nobel Prize. Georges Lemaitre, one of the fathers of the Big Bang Theory, has also served as a professor at the university. The university was ranked 42nd in the 2022 Times Higher Education World Rankings and 76th in the 2023 QS World University Rankings. The university is particularly renowned for its innovations. Since the publication of Europe's most innovative universities in 2016 by Reuters, KU Leuven has been ranked first for consecutive years. It was ranked seventh on the Reuters 2019 list of the world's most innovative universities. Today, we are very honored to invite the rector of KU Leuven, Professor Luke Sells, to share the experience and vision of leading this, Europe's most innovative university. Professor Wei Guo, President of City University of Hong Kong, is well known for his research on the reliability of electronic systems and nuclear energy. In his early years, he worked at Bell Laboratories in the United States, who held the position of department head and dean of the School of Engineering in an American university, and was conferred academicians in various countries. Professor Wei Guo 
has served as the president of City U for more than 10 years. His philosophy of education is summarized in the lyrics of the City U anthem, which he wrote, learn and question beyond boundaries. Professor Wei Guo has also published several books about education. He is particularly concerned about the challenges facing contemporary education around the world.天主教鲁文大学是比利时的顶尖高等学府，也是世界著名的大学。这所大学被公认为欧洲最具创新能力的大学，它也是欧洲研究型大学联盟的共同发起人。所以，我们特别有兴趣讨论。How are you, Rector Sales? Good to uh, have this opportunity to carry out some conversation to learn um, your university and how your view views, your visions are in um, making your university uh, really international and even better known. What are the legacies of KU Louvain that you are proud of? To answer your question, um, it is extremely difficult to, to, to give a, a straightforward answer because we are now approaching our 600th anniversary already. So we will celebrate our 600th anniversary in 2025 and trying to then, let's say, select a few leg legacies uh, from a, a time span of 600 years is extremely difficult, a hard, uh, a hard uh, job for me. But just to maybe highlight one very specific and very important feature of this university, we are now for the fourth year in a row, the well known as the most innovative university in Europe, uh, according to the Reuters uh, ranking, and we are number seven worldwide. So. I would say that our most important strength or our main capability is to translate basic research into uh, usable uh, tools, uh, medicines, uh, applications, uh, technologies that can help us um, creating a better world and a, a more healthy and a more wealthy world for more people. If I would, if you allow me to maybe highlight three very specific um, um, breakthroughs that were developed here in Leuven and that even today determine our success. I would say, first of all, the Big Bang Theory was developed here in Leuven by uh, Georges Lemaitre, who was a very close friend to, uh, to Einstein. And uh, he really led the foundations of what we know today as the Big Bang Theory. That is, of course, now boosting our uh, uh, astronomy uh, uh, group uh, here in Leuven. Then second, uh, I would say um, um, in the 1980s, we created a spin-off. Uh, actually, now today it is known as IMEC. Uh, IMEC is the world leading research center in nano and micro uh, electronics. And then maybe third, a third very important legacy is if you look at the most widely used drug against HIV or AIDS, today in the world, that goes back to an invention here in Leuven. Uh, it is called Tenofovir, a viral agent, um, antiviral agent, my apologies, that is now used in the most, uh, well, frequently used drugs um, against HIV and which really leads to an enormous licensing income for the university. So again, it um, helps us in creating a stronger research backbone. KU Leuven is one of the most historical universities in Europe. 
being recognized as the most innovative university in Europe, the university actively promotes basic research and has set up a technology transfer unit to transform basic research to applied technology. I understand that KU Louvain is recognized as the most innovative university in Europe. For example, your uh, solar energy panel has been used to directly convert no less than 15% of sunlight into hydrogen. And hydrogen energy is the clean energy we know. That is the future that we are promoting. You are, you are ahead of the curve in the hydrogen energy era. How do you facilitate the innovative research and teaching uh, based on your past glorious history for the future and near future so that people like us can learn from your idea, your vision? Um, if you look at how we deal with faculty management, uh, our expectations towards individual professors, we always try to highlight that it is not only about doing excellent basic research, but we expect them to do their very best to at least try to create some impact, to, so to become more engaged in the whole process of uh, translation, valorization from basic research to inventions. And I think one of the most important levers that we have here in Leuven is a, a very large, a very powerful technology transfer unit. So we were the second university in Europe with um, uh, our own technology transfer office. Imperial College was the first in 1971. We were the second in 1972. So it's, um, today's success is also an outcome of a decades-long investment in technology transfer. We also have a very large uh, research fund that is, we call that the Internal Research Fund of KU Leuven. Um, we have around 130 million euro a year annually at our disposal to fund our own research. And we use, let's say, half of the money to invest in basic research and half in translation, in bringing um, inventions to capital markets, in creation of spin-offs, in uh, trying to create licensing income in collaboration with uh, private companies. We have around, just to give you an idea, on an annual basis, we have approximately 4,000 4, uh, contract-based research projects with industry. So we are a very traditional university, six centuries of history, preserving the old, but at the same time fostering the new and trying to do our very best to create surplus value for society. KU Louvain, uh, in my opinion, is a very comprehensive university. It has many renowned subjects. But in addition, you are also a professional school. As I mentioned, your, your medicine research, medical research, engineering, physics, and many others, they are all really outstanding. Uh, as a rector, you believe that we, we dare to think ahead. You are specifically mention you want to think ahead for the next 10 years, 20 years, even further, I think this is something we, we need to learn. You, we have to dare to think, looking forward. But how have you addressed those things? Do you have some ideas you can share with us? If you look at the Times Higher Education World University rankings, then all faculties and the related disciplines are all very well positioned in the top 100 of their subject-specific ranking. And we are the only university in continental Europe that can say that. So we have a very strong presence across the board in all disciplines. And that is for me a very important precondition to create transdisciplinary potential. And that is the real future. Of course, it's a very challenging exercise because for me as a rector, that demands that I continue investment to a more or less equal standard in each of these faculties, in each of these disciplines, to keep them up to standard, to keep them 
at a very high international level. So investment across the board in all disciplines of this university is one very important element. The second one, and there I was a little bit disappointed when I came in office in 2017, we have a very, very strong, I think one of the most important academic university hospitals within the same legal entity. But the degree of collaboration between the faculties and the departments on the one hand and the university hospital was too weak. So what, I, um, what I'm now trying to do is to try to, to think about the medical care that we will need in, let's say, 10 years, in 20 years. The type of technology that will be dominant in medicine in maybe 10, 15, 20 years from now and bring those disciplines, for example, engineering, data science, artificial intelligence, uh, robotics, much closer to the university hospital, start integrating basic research and clinical research, and move towards one single platform. So that's a, very, a second very important uh, part of my strategy. That is how I try to develop this university. And there's one peculiar element that is, in my opinion, extremely important, and that makes this interview also so important. There is so much you can learn from other universities. So traveling, connecting to other rectors, becoming very present in international networks, um, building joint research capacity with other leading universities. That is, for me, very important because the challenges are such that you cannot, cannot do too much on your own. So you need strong collaboration with other leading universities. And that is what we now do through our priority partnership uh, framework. <music>
，继承他将近六百年的传统。在他六百年之间，他出了很多科学家、哲学家。今天，他的校长领导这所大学，被公认为是欧洲最有创新的大学。举例来说，他在氢能源的发展，领先。很多很多的大学，我们希望你们会喜欢今天的这个交谈，谢谢大家。In the next episode, President Wei Guo of City University of Hong Kong will visit the Ludwig Maximilians Universität München in Germany. With 550 years of history, it is one of the most historical universities in Europe. It is also the top university in Germany. In the 2022 Times Higher Education World University Rankings, LMU was ranked 32nd, which is the first in Germany. <music>